You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, CBS soap opera fans. It is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your Young and the Restless weekly spoilers by date for Monday, June 5th, all the way to Friday, June 9th, 2023. There's a lot to unpack. We have got bad things that have happened to a poor kitty cat. Cameron is in full psycho mode. There is just so much happening. There's an Abbott family civil war. There's a Newman civil war brewing. There is just a whole bunch to unpack. We're really excited to bring this all to you. Before we dig in, if you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless spoilers, casting updates, your daily spoilers, your two-week spoilers, all the good stuff that you need to know about your favorite soap. All right, Monday, June 5th on Young and the Restless. It's season 50, episode 172. We are going to see Ashley getting the better of Diane Jenkins. This is just a petty, petty game where Ashley is trying to prod Diane and torment her. Meanwhile, Victor is informed about the threat of Cameron Kirsten and vows to protect the family and puts additional security on Sharon Newman and her little place at the ranch. We're also going to see Phyllis having to deal with Kyle Abbott, who now knows that she is hiding out at the GCAC, and he's starting to do the math and realize that his wife has known her mom was alive longer than she let on. Boy, this is a to get very messy because Summer is continuing to tell lies, but she's about to be called onto the carpet. Then Tuesday, June 6th on Young and the Restless, it's season 50, episode 173, and we are going to see Jack Abbott and Billy Abbott teaming up to plot against Tucker McCall. So why would they need to plot against Tucker? Well, that's because Tucker and Ashley have decided to fast track their wedding, and she has already gone to the board to trash talk Jack and say, that Diane has melted his brain and that he's making bad choices. Mind you, that has less cachet now that all the charges against Diane have been dropped and it's been revealed that she was set up by Phyllis Summers. But Ashley wants to play this out. Tucker jokes about them taking over Jabot, taking it away from Jack and Billy. Billy already warned Jack about Ashley's offer to make a coup. And now that Tucker is getting close to Ashley, Jack and Billy realize that they definitely have to work together to eliminate the threat from Tucker. And remember, Tucker ran his own company into the ground. They definitely don't want him doing that at Jabot, but Ashley is just so amped up on revenge that she's not making good choices herself. That same day, we see Victor issuing a warning to Adam Newman that this move he's making will put him into direct competition against Newman Media. And Adam said, yep, because that's what he's in intending. Meanwhile, Victoria is plotting with Nate Hastings to try and ruin Adam's shot at the running McCall successfully. So, I mean, what can Victor say? His kids are just going to be at war. He should just make them both play nice, but of course that won't happen. Midweek on Young and the Restless, it's Wednesday, June 7th, episode 174 of season 50, and we are going to see Billy Abbott cornering Victoria Newman and grilling her with questions. What would those questions be about? I would say they've got to be about her and Nate Hastings going public. Of course, Billy is very sensitive about this whole Nate thing because he was at Chancellor Winners. He was just leaving his job there during the whole IPO thing, but he knows how tormented Lily Winters was when Nate Hastings turned on them and was spying on Chancellor Winners on behalf of Newman Enterprises, specifically on behalf of Victoria. Now, he's already decided to let that go, even though Victoria was doing the company that he worked at dirty. He let it slide. But now that she has Nate in her bed, he does not like that. He's not going to want their kids anywhere around that sleazeball. And this thing is not going to go very well. But you can bet that Victoria is going to give it back to Billy with both barrels because of who he's involved with now. And of course, Billy is sharing sheets with Chelsea 
Chelsea Lawson, the woman who drugged and molested him. And that's how they wound up with Johnny Abbott, who is Chelsea's birth child, but Victoria adopted and raised. So it's just messy. And Billy really doesn't have room to sling a lot of mud. And he's been less judgy, but I don't think he's going to look past this situation with Nate. That same day, Chelsea Lawson spends some time collaborating with Daniel Romalotti for work. Of course, they're working on the video game platform together, and that's exciting. Well, okay, it's not exciting, but it's something. (laughs) Thursday, June 8th on Young and the Restless, it's season 50, episode 175, and we are going to see Diane turning the table for revenge on Ashley. I wonder if this is about the official Young and the Restless spoilers about Jack Abbott making a change in the C-suite at Jabot. If you don't know what the C-suite is, that's the letter C. It denotes the area of the company where the most important executives sit, the CEO, the COO, and the CFO. That's the chief executive officer, chief financial officer, chief operating officer. Those are all very important positions. And right now, it looks like Billy and Jack are sharing the CEO job, I think. I don't think Billy's COO. I think that he and Jack are co-CEOs. I believe that Jack is probably going to install Diane as his COO as a way to have one more vote in place, one more person in power to help fight against Tucker and Ashley. So that might be what Diane gets to rub in Ashley's face on Thursday, June 8th. We're also going to see Nick Newman struggling to be there for both Sally Spectra and Sharon Newman on Thursday. Now, Sharon, of course, is in danger from Cameron Kirsten, except he He really doesn't, I think, I mean, he wants to be with her. He fancies himself in love with her and he definitely tricked her and threatened her to try to get her to be with him. And he definitely has a sick sense of what it means to be in love with her. And then of course they found out that he was living with a lookalike person who was Sharon Stoppelganger and that he abused that woman. So Nick has very good reason to want to be present for Sharon because Cameron is a serious threat. And next week, the psycho takes some major steps. Cameron poisons Faith's cat and kills it, that cat Borg9. We actually did a video, if you go to our Young and the Restless playlist, where we said that he was going to do something bad to the cat, and people were commenting back, oh, this is terrible. If they do this, I'm going to stop watching. And it's like, I knew they were going to kill the cat because there was no other reason to have the cat around. It's not funny. It's terrible. And they don't show any of it. We never saw even one piece of fluff on that cat, but Cameron poisons the cat. And then Nick goes to confront Cameron next week, and he doesn't punch Cam, but he punches a wall, which leaves Nick's Nick's knuckles looking, you know, swollen and like he's been in a fight. And then Cameron turns around and basically hurts himself, and that way he can go to the police and he can say that Nick attacked him, and it is going to look like Nick did because he's got swollen knuckles, and then Cameron's got this swollen face. And this was a game that Cameron played very well years ago with them, where he would try and frame Nick for certain crimes. So he's right back in the thick of it. And Sally is at risk for preeclampsia because of her pregnancy. And so actually both their, the women's lives are at risk, but Nick is despite the struggle, going to choose Sharon. Then Friday, June 9th on Young the Restless, we wind up the week on season 50, episode 176. Before we tell you the hot spoilers for Friday, if you haven't already, please reach down and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young the Restless updates, spoilers, casting news, all the good stuff. All right, Tucker and Ashley on Friday start spreading the word that they're engaged. This went from a fake engagement meant to annoy Jack and Diane into a real thing with plans for a corporate takeover. Tucker cannot be trusted. He cannot keep it in his pants. And Ashley is going to wind up regretting all of this. That is my prediction, but it's been proven out before the man has not changed. We also see Phyllis Summers making a hasty decision that she may regret on Friday. Is she going to turn herself in? What's she going to do? Because people aren't going to let her stay in hiding for much longer. There is a whole lot to unpack next week. Ford momentum on the Abbott Civil War. Ford momentum with Phyllis's conundrum and her having to pay consequences that she is definitely trying to avoid. And of course, more with Cameron Kirsten as he kills the family cat that has come home from college with Faith. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. 
because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.